Good day everyone. Learn how to download Windows 10 ISO and make a bootable pen drive for installation on any PC or laptop. So firstly we need to download the Windows 10 ISO and to do that we need to go to the favorite browser. And once it is opened type Windows 11 ISO download. The moment you type Windows 10 ISO download, you will get an option download Windows 10 disk image, the very first result from Microsoft.com. Please ensure that you don't revisit Microsoft.com website. And I will click on that. And here you will find download Windows 10 and we need to scroll down. You will see create Windows 10 installation media using this tool. Or using this tool to create a USB or ISO file. So since we need the ISO file, what if we need to click on download tool now? And a very small file will be downloaded, and you just need to open it. It will ask you to say yes. And very soon you will have a new window which will say Windows 10 setup, getting a few things ready. So this might not take much time. It should take uh, more than 30 or like less than 30 seconds or maybe a minute to open it because it's making things ready for you. And in the meanwhile, you can put the pen drive in your computer. So you can see I have set the pen drive right here. <coughs> Now here it says applicable notices Windows 10 setup and here we have the I'll just click on accept so this whole procedure is not very um, complex it is very easy the only thing is we need the patience so currently we are installing downloading the windows 10 iso and it's almost done now it says what do you want to do create installation media like usb flash drive dvd iso for another pc so we will select the second option right here okay and then i'll click on next and here you can change the language if you want or use the recommended option for this PC. Windows 10, 64 bit, I'll click on next. And here you will find USB flash drive or ISO file. So we will click on ISO file and we will click on next. And then you can select the location. You can name it. And in this manner, you can start downloading the Windows 10 ISO. Alright, so this might take some time and you can simply minimize it. Once it is downloaded, you will see the progress bar right here. So I will cancel it because I already have the ISO. I showed you how you can download the ISO now. So now we need to open the Rufus tool to create the installation media so i'll click on rufus download so to make the bootable pen drive we will go with the rufus it's a world known application and you just need to click on rufus download and you will find rufus.ie so i will click on that and here we need to scroll down and we will go with the standard installation under downloads all right so you can also do that i'll click on that and i'll close this and a very small file will be downloaded so you can see a 1.4 
mb file will be downloaded and it, it will ask you to say yes and a new window will appear like this now this is a very important part because now we are going to create the bootable pen drive so here the device is already selected and the disk now boot selection we need to select the iso which we have downloaded so here you just need to let's say i'll select this you can select the windows 10 or if you wish you can do with the windows 11 as well now here it says the second option will be standard window windows installation you don't have to make any changes here and if your computer it is if it's older than 2012 you can select the gpt if your computer is before 2012 like 10 more than 12 years old computer then go with mbr else leave it gpt all right so select gpt and then leave it as it is uefi no csm and here you can volume the label you can mention windows 10 or 11 and do not make any changes and the moment you click on start if you are creating a pen drive for windows 11 you can remove the requirements like this like the 4 gba like this you can select that remove the requirement for 4 gb plus ram secure boot tpm 2.2 and then you just need to click on OK and you just have to click on OK to start the process and it will create the bootable pen drive for you. If you are going with Windows 10, it will just start the creation of installation media, the bootable pen drive for Windows 10. So this is the best method, the easiest method to create a bootable pen drive for Windows 10 or Windows 11. If you find this tutorial helpful, Please hit the like and subscribe and do let me know in the comment section if you have successfully created a bootable pen drive for Windows 10 or Windows 11. I'll be glad if you do so. I'll see you in the next tutorial. Have a wonderful day.